What's going on D2 LOD fans? My name's Cooley and today we're going to be looking at a really unique build. By the way, if this is your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell notification. Not only does it help me out, but it helps the Diablo 2 community out by getting the word out there and encouraging more people to play this awesome game. hybrid boa and plague javelins on. The strategy behind this build is to do as much damage as possible with our bow, but to also punish our player versus player opponents for closing the distance on us and trying to push the pressure. First, I'm going to start with the skills and show you what I statted there. Much like I said, we're trying to do a lot of our damage with our bow, so I actually put a lot of points, maxed out guided arrow, and I put just enough into multi-shot to give us 20 arrows when we have battle orders active. The second part of this is a very, very simple skill tree. We've maxed plague javelin and the synergy to that which is poison javelin we've also put one hard point into lightning bolt mainly because we need it to get down to plague javelin but also it really comes into play and is a super important skill for our strategy and the beautiful part about this is you might have noticed in our two main skills that we're going to be hitting with we actually didn't use a lot of skill points. So that leaves us a ton of room for customization in the passive and magic skill tab. In my skill tab, not only did I put enough into critical strike to get 71% chance when I have battle orders active, but I put uh, a couple of points into dodge, avoid, evade, just enough to kind of get it above that 50% mark in most cases, but really just to make it so that it, it kind of maxes out for its level. I did stat all the way down to Valkyrie. My thought process here would be if we go up against another Zahn, we have something to kind of eat the arrows and get in front of the guided arrows if they're shooting at a distance. And then I put the rest of my points into Penetrate. And the reason I did that is mainly for multi-shot. Defense isn't a big thing when you're shooting guided arrows, but when you're shooting multi-shot, uh, all of those arrows can potentially just miss if your opponent has high enough defense. So in light of that, I dumped all of the rest of the points into Penetrate. Now that you know how she's skilled up, let's see how our stats stack up. We have just enough to use our items into Strength. Uh, dexterity is basically just enough to have max block. In our stash, we could use a Faith Matriarchal Bow. Uh, we have just enough dexterity for that. Uh, Based on how the build is though, we actually don't need that extra attack speed and we'd really prefer damage. As far as the rest of the points, they go into Vitality. Some Amazons put the rest of their points into Dexterity, especially ones that are focusing on bow and arrow, but an important part of our build is we wanna be able to survive the people that close the distance and put a lot of pressure on us. We wanna be able to survive long enough for our poison to do some damage work them down to a lower life total, and then finish them off. On to the gear. As our main weapon, we have a Faith Grand Matron bow. As far as our armor, we have Fortitude. Next up, we have the biggest piece of spice, a rare diadem that rolled plus two to Amazon skill levels, 30% faster run walk, six dexterity, 26 life, and two open sockets. The two jewels that are in this are Ruby Jewels of Fervor, 40% enhanced damage and 15% IAS. As far as our amulet goes, we have Cat's Eye. I'm wearing Ghoul Hide, which is a rare ring. It has rolled to max damage. That's gonna be good for our physical attacks with Guided Arrow, with Multi-Shot. And then this also has two attack rating, dexterity, life, and some fire resistance. We have two 20 knockback gloves. Passive and Magic here over bow skills because it actually boosts your chances to dodge, avoid, and evade. The other ring is Raven Frost, just for cannot be frozen. Our belt, Verdungos for damage reduction and life. And our boots, I actually have the wrong boots on right now. Our boots should be War Travelers. Now you might be thinking, why are you wearing MF boots on a dueling character? There's a good reason for that. They have a decent amount of faster run walk, and most importantly, they have adds 15 to 25 damage. That's basically saying these boots give plus 15 to minimum damage and plus 25 to maximum damage. So that's it for the gear. As far as the inventory goes, we obviously have the Hellfire Torch for an Amazon. We have an Annihilus Charm. And uh, we have an interesting mix of max damage charms and faster run walk charms in the inventory. You actually want to aim for about 120% faster run walk on your PVP Amazon. You wanna be able to run away from the people who are putting mad pressure on you. The other sort of hidden reason behind that is if you happen to be in one of those situations where you're weapon swapping, the faster run walk can actually make you desync. 
Uh, and basically what that means is you're desynchronized from your opponent's screen. They don't see exactly where you are on the screen. You're in a different spot than where you appear. And that can also help us get out of the way of people who are putting a lot of pressure on us. And also in our inventory, we have the Herodric Cube. That's because we have a cube bow setup. I'm gonna dive in to some chaos runs, maybe even some bail runs. We're gonna check that out, see how well that does. Admittedly, it's not designed to be PVM, but just out of curiosity, I wanna see how And that's some pretty decent damage to Diablo. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse, that's for sure. This girl mows down some bail minions, man. Mows down some bail minions, look at that. I think this next wave might actually be immune to poison too. Yep. Still though, mows them down. So the bow does some pretty significant damage, just in and of itself. Yeah, this is solid, man. That is actually impressive. I don't think we really have what it takes to, to beat a very well-made assassin, but we're gonna find out. Oh man, we running. Oh, we got her. We got her. Got her with the poison. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man, we on the run. We're running out of arrows. Oh, we got there. And that was against the trap assassin. Not bad. So you might have seen me switching really quickly back and forth between my weapons there. Uh, that was just to escape the Mind Blast from the Assassin, which can be really a death trap if you just sit there in it. You'll just get stun locked to eternity. Looks like she might have switched to a Wizard Spike to sort of pump up that Poison Resist. Let's see how we, let's see how things shake out now. Oh, man, those traps hurt. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is going to be a ranged duel. Theoretically, we should win that, right? Maybe. Unless we get mind blasted into oblivion. We got her with the poison. Got her with the poison. Let's let it do its thing. Come on, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Again, man, that is solid. That poison. <laughs> man, I'm actually surprised. Um, I think it might be a different duel if it was a ghost assassin, let's say, and she had whirlwind at disposal. But uh, it's good to know that we can beat a trap sin like that without getting, you know, stunned into oblivion. Got there with the bow. He might have been FOH. I think that's what we got hit with. Too many dodges. That's for sure. That's why we stat those skills. FOH. I think we just have to rely on dodging that. Because I'm pretty sure we get hit with an FOH with 68 light res. We're not doing good. He's going at us. Gotta love that dodge, man. Oh, that one hurt. We got him name locked. Yep, that's bad news for him. This build is far better than I thought it would be already. Sit in a cloud of our own filth over here and see if he comes in. Oh! <laughs> Alright, we got him poisoned, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to escape the clutches over here. Oh! He's too close! <laughs> we got him. Very good duel, man. Yeah, that's kind of what we anticipated, is that having that poison cloud there that actually does some pretty significant damage might actually force people to, or might force a smiter not to come directly after us. Damn, homie. GG. Sweet. This build is so cool, man.
See, you notice how he says he can't catch us? That's because of that faster run walk, man. By the time he swings from his charge, you're out of the way. So that's why that faster run walk is pretty important in duels. He's tapping out, man. That's actually pretty solid, man. Like a, a smiter is one of the builds I didn't think we'd be able to beat. No. Oh, we got there. Good duel. Go try. Oh, man. Hey, yo! <laughs> Tribird's actually a, a really good uh, Amazon, and he's a little frustrated by the looks because he got beat! He got beat! <laughs> Look at all this salt! I mean, I, I can't blame him. Like, he's, he's a really good player with an Amazon. And uh, he just got beat by an Amazon, and we're not—we're definitely not a good player with one. So I, I can kind of understand. I think there might be a lot of pride coming from where he's at. He's trying to guilt trip us into like coming in so he can jab us or whatnot. We ain't trying to do that. Good bro. Oh. <laughs> so I will say in closing here, I am really impressed with this build so far. It does okay. PVM, you know, can do chaos and bail runs very solidly, very efficiently. And in the dueling arena, it's just really hard to deal with, man. Kind of forces your opponent to make bad lines of play or switch their character up to a, a setup that's not as effective against one or the other. I will definitely continue to test this on stream and will definitely in the future upload more dueling videos involving this character. I think she's so fun to play and she really makes for some great duels. If you've made it this far, I have a nice little surprise for you. I made a secret video with more duels for this character specifically. You can only get to that video by clicking here. I really hope my finger lined up right there. It's actually just more dual videos of this character right here as it's progressing and as I'm learning how to really get the build to what it is right now. And if you have any suggestions for some unique PvP builds in Diablo, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to check them out.